right, guys. So the XFL is the cat with nine lives. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, part of an ownership group, dropping $15 million to acquire the rights to the XFL. Omer, what does this mean? Why do I care? What's the point? Johnny, do you think that the XFL is going to make a comeback? I think it doesn't matter what you think because finally the rock has come back to the XFL and finally the XFL has returned from the ashes the Phoenix will rise and let me tell you something the rock says Danny Garcia his ex-wife a strong independent businesswoman and Redbird Capital are going to bring the XFL out. We're giving them $15 million and let The Rock tell you something else. For $15 million, we're going to get football, jerseys, owner rights, all of the rights, all the TV rights, everything. If you're some man, what The Rock is cooking. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I think the XFL returning and having someone like The Rock who is, has great business acumen as well as entertainment value and mainstream publicity, bringing back the XFL. This is amazing for that because let's, let's be honest here. If we're talking just about sports casualties as far as sports leagues, the XFL being bankrupt is probably the biggest sports casualty of the COVID pandemic. People were actually loving the XFL. Spring football was exciting. You had... They originally started with 4 million viewers. Then they dwindled down, but they were still doing about 2 to a million viewers a week per games. So this was great for them. They were getting just the amount of people watching that they wanted and they expected. They were selling a shit ton of merch. If you walk around D.C., everybody was wearing a D.C. Defenders uniform. Everyone was wearing a D.C. Defenders jersey, T-shirt, whatever, hat. They had that, fo- that foam shield that was awesome. I still wish I could get one. I might be able to now in 2021. Who knows? Uh, but the XFL coming back is amazing. You know, I'm especially glad for cities like D.C., uh, who actually have a real football team for once um, and not one that pretends to and reside in D.C. It's great. Love spring football. You know, this could actually be a feeder league for the NFL like it was intended to be in the beginning. So I think this is good, great alternative, great alternative for football. And, you know, it's going to be great seeing the XFL back, hopefully in 2021 or even 2022. Andrew? I think it was great. I mean, the X, dude, the XFL will never be what it was, you know, we, listen, as long as, as long as they don't have Rod Smart, also known as He Hate Me, the XFL will never fully be what it was intended to be. But this is a good start. You know, it got off to a great start initially. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed watching Cardale Jones uh, until, you know, that all fell through. And what I'm also looking forward to is the XFL hopefully bringing back those sideline interviews where they're asking players right after they threw a pick, how do you feel about throwing that interception? And they just look at them and discuss it. It's amazing. Um, but, yeah, I'm totally – I'm I'm ready for the XFL. We need nicknames in the back of these jerseys. You know, I, the the most famous ever was when they asked he hate me, why why he hate me, and all he said his response was very simply because he hate me, because he hate me. I'm okay? gonna try to I'm gonna when, try to get Rod Smart on this podcast. I re- I, I really want I really wanted to come on. <laughs> One day. Because I know, because I know when I have the ball, and then he just starts pointing to players on the other team. He hate me. He hate me. He hate me. He hate, he me. hate me. That's why, because he hate me. So I have to have some thoughts on this. Omer, you hit on it. It's one of the things that I wanted to get into was that they have implemented and are willing to be radically different in terms of rule changes to protect player safety. If you're going to start courting children, you know, you're going to start courting 17 and 18 year olds to play for you. Obviously you wouldn't play for them unless you're 18, but if you're going to start courting, hey man, hey man maybe, ages, maybe the XFL, man, they're, they're crazy. They don't nah. do anything. 
I, I am dude, not going to endorse This that. is the league that Vince McMahon started, and now The Rock is buying it. It's WWE. It's insane. Dude, they, yeah, dude. they gave birth to a hand. A woman gave birth to a hand on Monday Night Raw in 1996. And nothing is off limits in WWE. Nothing is off limits in the XFL. You, you know how the XFL originally started in 2001? Andrew and I once live streamed a game. We watched the game together. It was hilarious. Their original kickoff idea was a, scr- uh, was a scramble where two players would start the 50-yard line. The ball would be at, like, the 25, and they would both run, and the, and the first person to grab the ball and take possession of the ball would or win the coin toss. And the first player on the first XFL kickoff tore his ACL. This league is insane. It's fun to watch. It, you don't know what's going to happen. 2021, check it out. We remember late hits in the original XFL because they needed ratings. Late hits were not a thing. If a dude was already if a dude was already out of bounds and you wanted to go and bash your skull into his, you know what? That's a play on. You got penalized for missing tackles. That's how, that's how real the XFL was. It's the extreme football league for a reason, man. And now the Rock, the Rock is just going to help it ascend. He's going to help it ascend. Mind you, what it was in 2001, that was some crazy shit. What yeah. it could become with the rock.